Hi guys, I'm Stephanie and welcome back to my channel! So, today's video is going to be about this look right here. So it's a super easy, uh, colorful makeup to achieve because I know that not everyone wants to do a cut crease or uh, like the crazy stuff that we see on Instagram because a lot of time when we see colorful stuff on Instagram it's like super structured and hard to do makeup looks so I wanted to do like something super easy to achieve and something that uh, it's not gonna take a lot of time, a lot of tool and a lot of shadow to achieve too. Right now I know it's a lot of color on my eyes but if you want a tutorial on something like a more a neutral with some color in it so just leave me that down below I will be super happy to uh, film that for you so before to jump into this uh, tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to follow me on my social media so without further ado let's jump into this so I already do my eyebrows like you can see so now I'm gonna prime my eyes with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer So uh, for uh, today's look I'm gonna use my Strawberry Dream Palettes by Lunar Beauty Lunar Beauty And I'm gonna go into uh, this, this blue right here So first I'm gonna take my Versace, Versace uh, Contour Eyeshadow Brush And just take a little bit of the blue sky and just put that into my crease the only stuff that is difficult with the with the, that kind of look is to blend the eyeshadow like perfectly you need to really 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 blend the eyeshadow perfectly because otherwise it's gonna look sloppy and not so good. So I'm gonna take a Morphe M441 and just blend this. And also sometimes uh, colorful eyeshadow are a little bit harder to blend than uh, blue, uh, not a blue, than a brown or something like this. So just keep that in mind. So now I'm gonna pack this shadow into my eyelids. And the key uh, when you want to play with some colorful stuff like this, just go super light and, and build the color because otherwise it can be a little bit harder to blend. So just put a little bit and blend and put a little bit more and blend and a little bit more and blend and this kind of look remember that right now it looks effing crazy but it came just perfectly when you put lashes and everything so keep that in mind that at the beginning everything looks not so good but it's like a smoky eyes you need to finish the look to be sure that everything's gonna look good I'm just gonna take the other blue just to put a little bit of I just want to put this blue a little bit onto my V right here just to put a little bit more uh, dimension to my eye I'm just gonna wipe a little bit under my eyes because I had some blue shadow under and I'm not gonna do a wing but you could so now I'm gonna go uh, to prime my skin so I already uh, moisturized my skin and I'm gonna take my Becca under eyes corrector uh, primer because when you play with some purple and some blue the under eyes can be a little bit more darker than what it looks like in real life so uh, now to prime my skin, I'm gonna use my, uh, my Versali Skin Blur Primer. I hate the dropper on it, it's like the worst packaging. The product inside is beautiful, don't get me wrong, but the packaging is just... I don't know for the other because I never try uh, Versali stuff, but this I and I had this 
mini size. Maybe the bigger ones is a, a little bit more like easy to use or something like this. But this one, like, why it's not in a squeezy tube or something with a pump. So now for my foundation, I'm gonna mix the Makeup Forever uh, HD and this Wet n Wild stick foundation. So this one, like you see in my last video, is too yellow for me. So I love to put that to my skin and mix a little bit with the another shade like a more pinky shade and light because it's a little bit too dark and I didn't wet my sponge again so I'm gonna mix these two to have the perfect shade because the makeup forever one is too light and the wet and white one is too dark I prefer my face to be a little bit darker than what I... Not a lot, please. Just a tiny bit. Just because if I use my correct shade, which is white, uh, I look a little bit like Casper. So <laughs> and it's not looking that good. And I don't know why, but if you are super, 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 super light, like me, uh, white foundation just emphasize all the dryness at least on me so the foundation emphasizes all the dryness and the weird stuff that you have on your face so now I'm gonna use my uh, Jouer Eye Coverage Liquid Concealer in the shade Custard and I'm gonna blend this I didn't remember oh, I love this concealer pretty much super not natural because it's a full 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 coverage foundation uh, not foundation concealer but just appear like nothing on the skin like I really need to use more this uh, concealer because I look at myself right now and my nose and my under eyes looks wow they look flawless so now I'm gonna lightly set my under eyes. So lately, I just don't bake lately. Seriously, I, I stopped baking because I just found that my under eyes doesn't love that much baking. So I prefer to gently put powder under my eyes to avoid baking and to uh, not to avoid baking to avoid creasing i want to say but i bake like more like to the side of my nose just because i had a big nose and i want to look a little bit more snatch this is my powder my loose powder from maybelline so now i'm gonna go uh, to do my under eyes so for my waterline because we do a colorful kind of look I want to put some uh, color into my waterline but if the blue is enough for you just go with a nude uh, pencil but me I'm gonna go with my Colourpop um, gel liner in the shade oh shit this one and So for my waterline, you can leave your waterline like this, but me, I want to put a little bit more color. So I don't know if I want to go with this shade or this. I'm going to go first with this shade and go super tight uh, to my lash. I'm just going to take a flat brush like this. I'm gonna go with the pencil brush and I'm gonna go in pink flash so the bright bright pink shade and just blend this. So right now I don't know if the orange um, <laughs> waterline looks good. Maybe I'm gonna add some yellow in it and I'm gonna take a more uh, fluffy brush 
and I'm gonna go into cloudy so the baby pink shade and just blend the pink oh I really really love this look I'm gonna do my mascara and put some falsy on and I will be Okay, so now I'm gonna bronze my skin with some Fenty bronzer in the shade Shady Biz. I'm just gonna take a fan brush like this and just bronze my nose a little bit, but just on one side because my nose is pretty much super crooked. I'm gonna take the shade of a little bit of Sweet Dreams. So this shade right here. I'm just gonna apply this. And I'm gonna take Blue Diamond. So the first one, the more white shade and be super, super gentle with this shade because it's a pretty um, soft press shade. So yeah. I'm just gonna press this into my inner corner and be gentle because it's more like a um, glitter than a uh, pressed shadow. So for blush, because we had a lot on her eyes, I'm gonna go with my Milani like always. So this is a romantic rose. So now I'm gonna apply a little bit of setting spray. Continuous setting spray. I'm gonna grab my beauty blender and lightly press the setting spray into my face. So for my highlight, I'm gonna go into my Artist Couture Coco Bling Highlight. And I'm gonna top this with some Fenty Diamond Balm Highlight. If you want this highlight, um, I saw that Sephora had a um, smaller size, like travel size highlight, so this one and a gloss, so. So my face is done, I'm gonna do my lips. So for my lips, I'm gonna go with a nude because we had a lot right now on her face, on her eyes. I'm gonna go into a more pinkish uh, nude because we had some uh, more like cool tone shade right now. So first I'm gonna line my lips with a whirl from MAC. And I'm gonna put uh, um, the Urbanski Native Lipstick on. I don't know if it's gonna be a little bit too thick. Gosh, yeah. So I'm gonna go into this uh, liquid lipstick. So this is from Stila in the shade Bachi. So yeah, that's that's way much better. And I'm gonna put over this a little bit of nude lost by Maybelline. So this is my go-to nude, like you can see how it's shaped now. <laughs> I always have like a shirt that doesn't fit with my makeup, always. So that's it guys, I hope you like this super easy tutorial. So this was my super easy look to do with colorful uh, shadow. So if you want to try a little bit of the colorful looks, because spring is right around the corner and this year like um, pastel shade are so trendy. So if you want a tutorial with a more neutral natural look with some colorful stuff in it just leave me that down below and i will be super happy to film that for you so i don't have anything else to say beside i love you guys and i will see you soon bye